about the atmosphere of this conference and meeting so many IITNs under one roof? Yeah, the atmosphere is actually very good. Uh, the ecosystem is amazing. Uh, it's my first time here and uh, and uh, the fact that IITs are investing in it and are having uh, organizing this chapter in Bay Area, it just sets uh, the startups uh, and the young people for success. So, so I wish NITs also get this idea. Uh, it's, it's very good. Uh, I like the enthusiasm here. So, thank you. That was a very interesting panel. So, tell us something more about machine learning at Walmart. Yeah, so at Walmart, uh, 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 very big company, uh, 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 think of it as two operations, right? I mean, if you think fundamentally what a marketplace is all about, it's like uh, um, what items should Walmart carry? That's a fundamental question. That's a machine learning problem. How should I price my items? Doesn't matter if stores or e-commerce. I have to answer those questions. Uh, the difference between stores and e-commerce is that in, in e-commerce, I, I, I don't have a finite shelf problem. In, in, in stores, I have finite shelf width. Right, and then my supply chain always needs to be working. And so what Walmart is investing massively in AI is to, to answer, to see whether, whether I can have a positive uplift in my ROI, in my, in my, in my both in my top line and my bottom line. Uh, can, can, can machine learning help uh, take the decisions much more efficiently that humans being used to take? Right? And can we outperform? Because that's the promise of, uh, of, uh, of big data uh, and machine learning. So that's the reason why it is investing massively. And we all know that so much of data is being generated right now. But some, what are some of the challenges that you see in applying ML to all those data sets? Yeah, so uh, machine learning is an interesting phase because uh, machine learning has seen success in wherever I have either big data and labeled. So for example, in image processing, uh, I ha can have a corpus of data of all the cats right, and label it as cats and dogs uh, and, and, and the algorithm will work because all I have l millions of photos of cats and I have labeled on them. Right, uh, but the real world is not that. Real world is does not have big data. Right, even if let's say it has big millions of transactions, I don't have labels in those transactions. When you shop in Walmart stores, you don't use username, password. Uh, most transactions are cash. So, so the supervised learning paradigm is is cannot just directly be applied. And so, and so most of the advances in machine learning that we are seeing today are on reinforcement learning side. And if you think how our brain learns, uh, uh, when we we are born, and I have a two-year-old daughter, uh, uh, we are I'm reinforcing her an idea she is she, I give don't give her millions of data points that I'm the dad right or this is a chair I just tell her that this is right or wrong so learning by reward function learning by trial and error and I think that's where the future of machine learning is going to be involved if if we have to ever build an artificial general intelligence AGI uh, then we have to crack reinforcement learning we have to crack unsupervised learning right supervised learning is very mature it solves a specific set of problems where I have labeled data real world we are very far from from that so that's how I would say Thank you. That's